Yeah. So it's a prosthesis, and it's uh, you know, and, and that is a doctor word for you know for an artificial hand. Um, initially, when we we start, what we what what I was able to do was to close the the skin at the wrist, um, and he had all of his forearm, but I had to go uh, back in subsequent surgeries because that didn't give him enough uh, um, usefulness. Um, and so he had a prosthesis, which just was the hand, but um, we had to take take his his arm, um, take the the bones up above into the forearm, and that gave our prosthetists, our our limb makers, the ability to to put a socket on his arm um, that is very special. Um, it, it's controlled by muscle signals or electrical signals in the muscle that allow his fingers to move to open and close and his wrist to turn. And, um, and those are, you know, that's pretty special. What you do with it is, you know, really dictates, uh, you know, the person. And it's never the same as, as his own hand. It doesn't have feeling. It's slower than you would be able to grip. But it, it feels like a hand when you, when you shake his hand. Uh, but you know that it's a prosthesis. So that's what generally he, Cern Petrie uses is that, uh, that artificial limb, that prosthesis. Um, he, he had to go through several months of, of learning to make the signals work to open and close the hand. And it's, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty advanced, but uh, it's also not the same as, as his own hand. Has it, he adapted well over time? I think he's adapted very well. You know, that, that's, I think, a lot of where so a, a man like Leroy uh, starts with this loss and progresses into to usefulness of his hand. Um, it was his dominant hand. You know, if you can imagine tying your right hand behind your back and using your left hand all the time, that's, what, that's a choice. That's an option, you know, that, that a person that loses their, their dominant hand has. Uh, Leroy's chosen not to do that. He's chosen to stay on active duty. Um, we've had a lot of talks. You know, w at the time where he was wanting, thinking about whether he should take a medical board or continue to serve, uh, we talked a lot about that. You know, we, you know, we, we. It, it, of course, it's his decision. You know, with it. But, uh, but, but what I have learned about Leroy is, you know, is that he. he is about service, and that was kind of what the choice that he made. Every one of them has to go through a medical board, but in his situation, he chose and asked to stay on active duty.